Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. As promised, here is my next project that I want to come on and share. So if you've been keeping up with what I've been doing, my last video, I did the four small pocket size daily journals. This is a big size of those. Um, big as in, you know, it's it has a lot more pages and the size is actually a little bit bigger too. Um, let me just grab my ruler. I, I, no, because I should know this. Because it was made by a 6x9 envelope, so it's going to be 6x4.5. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I, yeah, I didn't need that. <laughs> so it's 6x4.5. It was made by a 6x9 manila envelope or clasp envelope. And I did the leather look on it. And let me just take this off. And this does come completely off. So that way, I don't know. It's just better that way. Um, this image on the front, I'm sitting down. So hopefully this is getting picked up in the camera. But this image here, this one right there, I purchased from my friend Moira's Etsy shop. She has these um, really pretty, pretty uh, images, and they're the, actually, what size are they? They're three and a half by five. So they're kind of like um, the postcard size or journaling card size, but the paper I used here is from the Haberdashery paper pad, and her images look so good with this paper. So I used a few of her images throughout. So on the cover is this one. And then on the inside, we have one right here. And I backed both images on cardstock just so, um, just trying to get a tag here. So it makes it a little sturdier because I did turn this into a tuck spot here. So the front is glued down. There's no tucking on it, but this first one right here, you can tuck stuff right in the beginning. And on this side here, I've backed it with some more of the paper from the paper pad and on the back too. Oh, and actually, I have another one of the images right here and there's another tuck here. So the front and the back basically mirror each other the way that they're set up. So here's a nice spot to put a good picture if you wanted, but like those other little uh, mini journals that I made, this is completely blank for journaling as well, except for any of the pattern paper that I put in. Um, there will be tuck spots or something like that, but I'll show you as we get, get through. So lots of paper to journal on. Um, it's all tea dyed and there's different types. So this is just the regular paper. Here's some grid paper. Uh, we have some lines paper too. And then we come to the next page where there's a tuck right there and some more paper. And here we have a corner tuck at the top. Doesn't open because as you can see, I've sewn around the edge. So it's just a little spot to tuck something under. And this one, I've just punched the edge. I don't know if you if you can see that. I'll try to hold it up, but I actually don't really know what I'm holding up to. So hopefully that does come out. But I use my Martha Stewart punch to punch the edge there. And on the inside, I put a piece of tea dyed paper for some more journaling. And I love this one with the butterfly right here. Super cute. And here is side tuck right there and and I this one's I, I left it nice and tall so you can tuck something big behind here but also if you can see here there's also a little place to tuck something small so business cards would fit in here um, let's see yeah Perfect. So you can put like little business cards or appointment cards, anything like that. 
and then the big tuck behind it. And again, here is, this is just, um, let me see, what punch is this? This is a, oh, a Fisker's punch. And it just does the little scalloped edge. Oops, as I knock everything over. So hopefully you can see that. And I put another piece of tea dyed paper here for some more journaling. And this side we have oops, little tuck like this. And as you can see right here, it's also some of the scallop punch. And here's the middle of the signature. And I wanted this one as the middle because, you know, actually I have to stand up to make sure this comes in the camera. This image right here, I absolutely love. The butterfly right over the flower. Okay, sitting back down. So hopefully I'm back in frame. So that's the middle. And this one is almost kind of like really nice. I wouldn't cover it up with anything, but I would definitely maybe put a picture here on this side or some journaling and, you know, a black Sharpie. That would be nice too. And again, here is a tuck with a scallop edge. Okay, so we have another of the tea dyed pages glued on there. There's the back. And another little tuck here. And all these tucks are sewn, so they're very sturdy. <coughs> and then, oh, as you can hear my dog coughing in the background. There's that tuck there. This is just a plain edge. I didn't do any um, edge punching or anything like that. Some more tea dyed paper, and this is the Martha Stewart punch here. And here is a corner punch, uh, not a corner punch, corner pocket, corner tuck um, that is so down so it doesn't lift up. And another sewn pocket in there. So lots and lots of blank space for journaling. And just like we saw in the beginning, the tuck back here with the paper at the end. And then the back, of course, you can see the leather look. So that's my newest little journaling journal. Is that what you even call it? A journaling journal? A journal for journaling. <laughs> well, I hope you liked watching this. This will be in my Etsy shop. All the information will be below. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.